Oh, may I start it somewhere? I'm sorry. So, what you have here is Opera Mini running on the iPhone, and what you see here is Opera Mini lays out the page so that it can reflow the text, so that with one press, the text lays out within the screen, so it makes it for easy reading, essentially. You have tabs in Opera Mini as well, and a blank tab, and every blank tab brings up your speed dial, where you have nine top sites that give you one-click access to the content you want. So here we're going to, to the New York Times site, and we're actually doing this over Edge. And you can see already it's displaying. This is over an Edge network, no Wi-Fi, and with one touch I can zoom in and begin reading. We also have a long click in Opera Mini, so I can then open a link in a new tab, or I can use the text selector tool. If I use the text selection tool, I can then actually search with, so I could use any of the onboard search engines to search whatever particular text string I have there. Other cool features in this phone, we have a find in page. So I think uh, people have been, been looking for this on Safari. So for instance, we have... Does this support Flash? It, there is not a flash support in Opera Mini because we're doing all the loading on the server, all the transcoding and things, and that way, that way actually we're not processing any data on the phone itself, which is how we are able to actually make our app for the iPhone. Now something else that you might notice when you use an app on the iPhone is that, uh, well, when you exit out of the app, the app ends. But with Opera Mini, you can pull it back up and you write from the pages you left off, including all your open tabs. So we're actually able to save state, unlike other apps that get shut down. Uh, and that's pretty much the main thing. We have Opera Link, so you can synchronize your settings uh, from the different browsers. And you know, we've submitted it to Apple yesterday and hope that they will approve the app. There is some support for HTML5, um, but also be, basically because it, Opera Mini has Opera's server on the back end. It, uh, well, Opera server is running the Opera desktop browser, so it has support for all the same technology.